Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're at the 2018 PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando, Florida. We're with TaylorMade today, talking with Tomo Bodstead about iron. Exciting time for you? Very exciting. M3, M4, just out, mm -hmm. taking the place of M1 and M2, That's and I right. know you're really excited about both of these products. Oh, definitely. I think, you know, you know we had a great product in the M1 and M2, and, and at the same time, as, a, as an R&D group, as a designer, so we knew we could take it to another level, and we worked on this new technology in these products called Ribcore, and the Ribcore has really transformed, really, both what you're going to feel and sound and hear from the club, but also in how it performs, especially on miss hits, and so that's really exciting for me and, and the team to kind of bring that to golfers all the way around the world, yeah. Yeah, and it's interesting. We were at Demo Day on Tuesday, and some of the feedback we were getting from players that have been out testing, the first thing they mentioned was sort of in what they felt was like an improved feel over what M1 and M2 offer. Yeah. The way we're doing that actually is, you know, you see these little ribs on the outside of the face slots here, and kind of subtle in the cavity, but they essentially go outside the face slots. And what, what it does is it stiffens the whole structure. It gives it a more a stable platform for that center trampoline to work. Yeah. So you get all that energy, that flexibility in the face still, and, and that speed. But now the whole face is really stiff at impact, and what it what it does is it reduces vibration. And if you know vibration, mean, it means sound. And so by reducing that vibration, that's going to come out more solid, a softer feel, okay. and that's what people are seeing. Yeah, and you mentioned the the face slots, uh, speed pocket, speed pocket on the side, yeah. huge for both ball speed generation and ball speed protection. Exactly. You know, we obviously want, you know one of the bigger goals with with iron design always is how do we make the ball balls be more consistently in their ball flight, you know, wherever you hit it, you know, especially these kind of irons designed for, you know, the amateur golfer. Obviously, if that player's going to hit it all over the face, it's going to need help all over the face, right? So, you know, speed pocket, great for low face miss hits, gives it a little bit more speed. Heel toe miss hits again with face slots, really improve there. And what Ribcore is doing is really tying that all together by improving, you know, especially toe hits and high hits and stabilizing the structure. So now that dispersion is going to come right down and be a lot more tighter than it was with the old product. Now these are irons that are both generating distance, mm -hmm. forgiveness, great launch, but it's interesting to me, one of the first mm -hmm. things I noticed is that both the M3 and the M4 compared to their predecessor mm -hmm. look like they have more streamlined sort of look, sleeker look. Yeah, you know one of the things we always do as well is we, we definitely look at how the ball sits or club sits behind the ball um, and also we look at how the two complement each other. You know one of the things that we learned from last year is maybe the M1 and 2 were a little bit too similar and we had an opportunity with these two to really make, make them a little bit more distinct in their design. So the, the M4, we, we kind of made it a slightly bit bigger from the M2, more forgiving, a lot more nourish a heel toe, uh, but really try to make, like sort of hide the size a little bit. So we have this bevel in the top line, the top one doesn't look too big, mm -hmm. the offset's really nicely blended in so you don't see a lot of the offset. Uh, so you, like you said, a little sleeker look. And what we did with the M3 iron was, we made that a little bit smaller than the M1. We wanted to make sure that that really appealed to that guy who wants a little bit of a more compact blade at address, shorter blade length, less offset, a little thinner top line, and then still being able to package all this great technology into that smaller form factor. And so that's really where the M3 comes in. It's a brand new shape as well. If you set it down, it's not, it's not like any iron we've made before. It's a brand new shape and it has some really good feedback on it so far. Yeah, it really looks like a player's iron in the mm -hmm. playing position. Yeah, and that was really the goal of, again, kind of hiding that game improvement feature of the club really in a player's shape. So in terms of the two irons, tell us a little bit about who you sort of envision as the target player for M3 as opposed to M4. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously the M3 is generally going to be for a lower handicap player. Um, not always the case, but definitely we're going to see, you know, with it being less offset, thinner top line, again, shorter blade, obviously not going to look as, as forgiving at a dress. But a lot of players prefer that look, right? They want that more workable look. Maybe they played, you know, more forged players type irons in the past and they, they kind of want to have that more of that look. So we see that probably if, you know, five to maybe even a 15 handicap player in the M3, the M4 is going to have a little bit wider appeal. Um, you know, obviously, maybe even high single digit players, but really a 10 up okay. is the M4. And the way we're designing the long and mid irons, especially in terms of forgiveness, you're going to be able to play this at almost at a beginner level. Wow. So, uh, really, high, you know, broad reach. It, it is going to be for us the kind of the widest reaching iron. And again, if you don't know where to start in the tailor made lineup, the M4 is kind of where you go first. Okay. And then you kind of decide do I want even more forgiveness, more playability? You go MCGB. And if you go, hey, I know I want something a little smaller, more compact, you have the M3 and also maybe the P790 as an option. Sure. So if you're a second swing customer, planning on putting some new irons in the bag in 2018, need a little distance, need a little bit of launch, want to hit and hold more green, shoot better scores, M3, M4, worth having a look. And of course, we'll take your 
old iron set on trade, help you play some better golf. Tomo, we appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you, appreciate it.